ground, mm -hmm. probably not the way you want it to progress, but mm. regardless, a win's a win. What exactly, from what you saw, happened in there with his ankle? Uh, th I was putting the pace on him. I could sense my shots was taking away his confidence, but I'm not too sure what happened. I gotta watch back the footage, but I think I'm. What, what did what did they say he hurt? Um, his ankle. His he ankle. His ankle. I thought it was a body shot or a rib shot. That's what I thought when I was in the fight. But I gotta watch back the tape, see what it was. Uh, but yeah, you, you don't really want to see a fight end like that. It is what it is. Wednesday got Wednesday got the paycheck onto the semi-finals, and that's how it happens. Hit him so hard in the body, you hurt his ankle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> another <laughs> thing. Another <laughs> thing. Um, they say you've done this whole camp during Ramadan. Yes, sir. Well. Yes, so sir. Yes, sir. Respect yes, sir. to that. Come and on. one more thing, you might have Jarvis next. So you do. I do Jarvis have Jarvis next. I do. Um, do we see you giving up like Tom did? Ever. Do you see? Wait, what was the question? Repeat that. Do we you see you ever give up like Tom? You Sinetti will did? not see me ever give up in a fight. You will see me knock out Jarvis and win the tournament. That is what you will see. I respect him. He got a good win. He put a good training camp. He beat a bigger gentleman. So Jarvis didn't done good. But the question: Will you ever see me give up? Is a crazy question. So I don't think you'll ever see that. I like that. I like that response. Thank yeah. you. Thank Congratulations. You, Thank you, man. Thank you. Jim, can I ask you, Hello. Um, did you speak to Austin? I spoke to him, like, because to be honest, I get, I got a lot of respect for McBroom, man, because I know what it's like. I know what it's like to come out, and I know the mental challenges you got to go through. So I have a lot of respect for him, and I could see, I could see he was nervous throughout the week, and he, he done a good part. I hope we, he's, I hopefully, I don't know what the injury is. He didn't, I didn't see an ankle. Apparently, it's a broken ankle. I didn't see him hobbling. Did you it see him was, he got carried out. He got carried out. Carried carried out. out. Carrying him to, carrying him to the yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. It, well, whatever it is, uh, hopefully he's a key, he can make it to the semis. Still continue the tournament, but um, yeah, I hope the best for him. Are you expecting more excuses from him? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I, I got the paycheck. I'm onto the semi-finals. I whatever. All the best to McBroom, man. But would it what disappoint you if you if that came out? It is what it is, right? If he wants to run it back again, I will stop him again for the third time. So it can happen like that. So if he wants to have excuses, I can get rid of him again. But I, I sense that I was taking away his confidence as the fight was going. Even more, brother. Thank you, brother. Did you feel like he saw an improved from McGroom? Because last time he said that he was able to be beaten around with certain excuses. This time around, did you feel it, any improvement from him? I didn't see an improvement. I didn't sense more explosiveness. I didn't sense... In fact, I, like I said, I felt... I didn't see much. He just looked like a guy that started training again. So I didn't see much of an improvement, but hopefully he can tick over in the gym, get the improvement in, get some more sparring in, and do well in the in the next bracket. Jarvis, did you watch his fight? And what did you a little bit, a little bit. I was training and warming up. Uh, the only thing that I'm not sure what stopped Zanetti, but I just remember he quit. Yeah, I just saw that he quit. So uh, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to facing Jarvis and taking him out also. Hello, my friend. I'm Hi. Here, I'm here, hidden. Hi. Here in the How are you? How are you? Oh, I'm not too bad. I'm <laughs> yeah. not too bad. So you put on a great performance. On Thank tonight, you, sir. And it was a uh, tournament boxing. Who improved? Who impressed you the most out of everyone? I need to watch back the event. I wasn't paying attention. I was in the zone. I was getting ready for my fight. Uh, I saw a couple of the girls' fights, okay. but um, all I know is that Jarvis is next. Okay. That's all I that. That's all that I know. So I know that I'm coming for Jarvis. I like to see you focus. But mm. we did speak with Leon the other day. Mm. Now, if you do win this tournament, there's a possible fight with KSI. Mm. What do you make of that? And do you think? Well, well you've had Tom Spar I love, I, lo I love the, <laughs> I love the title hunting. But there what I, but, but what I'm doing is I've got this big tournament. I'm focused on this. You gotta be satisfied with the tournament ahead. So I got Jarvis. I don't know who I'm gonna see in the finals. And this is all my focus, man. This is my focus till the end of the summer. So I'm not gonna look who am I fighting in eight years' time. I'm looking at this tournament. So please be satisfied with this. Thank you very much, my friend. Eat, eat my best. Thank you, brother. Yeah, over here. Um, winning a tournament like this, the first influence boxing tournament, mm. to win it, how much would that add to your resume? It's a huge accolade. You separate yourself from the rest of influence of boxing. It's very serious. Like McBroom for McBroom to come into this, I uh, honestly got a lot of respect for him because it's a hard feat. It's a hard feat. It's a very it's high risk, uh, high reward. So um, uh, yeah, I got anyone that's in this tournament. It's a lot of respect for them. But yeah, this tournament means big. Because you separate yourself from the rest. You're not ducking and diving. You're facing the best and you're moving on. So it is big. It's also something that 
it's very, very rare to have. Everyone will have a win in boxing, maybe over one or two good people, but to have that on your resume yeah, would be seven quite... Seven people losing. Mm, exactly. Seven people losing. They're all risking a, a, a chance to lose because there's only one winner. You're, there's seven losers, so it's a very high-risk tournament. And Jarvis, you're fighting him in Dublin. Mm-hmm. He's a come-forward fighter, and so you're yourself. How do you see that fight going? That's surely a fight of the night. Fight of the night, baby. I see Jarvis getting knocked out, man. I see Jarvis getting knocked out. I saw a little bits of him. He looks like he's improved a lot since his Michael Lee fight. So there's a lot of props and respect to him. But I'm going to have to take him out, man, and stop him. Do you think your main event for that? Or do you think Winners and Nunes versus King Kenny be main event? I have no clue. I have no clue. I'm just coming to win the tournament. Main event, start of the show, who cares? I'm coming to take him out and collect this paycheck, man. Well done, Gib. Thank you, sir. Beef between yourself and Jarvis in the build up to this fight? Beef. Well, at the end of the day, it's m- me versus him, so it is what it is. You're risking your health, there's concussions, there's injuries, there's there's a lot on the line. There's there's a lot on the line. Like you're coming to damage your opponent. And I'm coming to take success. I'm trying to take the food off of his plate and he's trying to take the food off of my plate. So there's a lot on the line. So whatever happens, happens. But I do respect him for and his grind that he's done into the sport so far. I think there was an extra element of in- intensity from you coming into this fight, knowing it was the rematch. There was a bit of a grudge between you and McBroom. I'm coming to win the tournament. I didn't really focus on that. I just came. Uh, McBroom had his excuses. I got to dust him off again. Uh, it probably didn't end the way that I would like it. I would like a, of it to be decisive, but I'm not sure if he quit or not. That's why I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's injured or not. So I go watch back the tape. But I do, like I said, I do have respect for my room, so I go, I go watch it back, man. I don't know. Kenny is someone that you know, obviously, you're friends to a certain level. You're in a tournament right now. A few of the bits, bits squad were out, and they were asked that question. None of them answered it. But how, how impressed or how much do you think Kenny will get in, in regards to the tournament? Do you reckon it could be possibly you and Kenny? Fight? Well, Kenny, Kenny stopped his opponent. That he had a good performance. But we are not in a YouTuber. But if, with your open workout, you looked like you were ready for the kill. We were seeing how much intensity you were putting into the ring. Mm. Um, obviously, with Ramadan, uh, you just had Eid as well. Um, how has that motivated you even more? Because knowing of the, you know, of the religious aspect with your spirituality that goes into it, how much more motivation does it give you knowing that, like, the passion is there when it comes to the boxing? Because we know you've been in the gym like for a long time. Well, in terms of my performance of this one, there's, there's uh, certain elements I could improve. Maybe the without the Ramadan would have helped, but it gave me that extra discipline. I felt privileged that it was here and that it landed on the E day. So for me, it was a blessing. But that could only mean that I can improve, be sharper, be better fueled. But Ramadan included. It was a blessing, man. Like it was a proper opening up to me. It gave me that extra discipline, and it, I'm I'm very happy the way they worked out. Yeah. And we're finally with Winters and Nunes. Uh, obviously, there was a massive ruckus of crowd, uh, crowd noise tonight uh, for him. Uh, from what I've seen, he really put his intensity. He looked like a bo- uh, boxer. Is that someone that you feel is going to be like a challenge uh, as the as the tournament goes on? And or with you, is like yeah. you're just gonna you know be <laughs> as seven figure gibber and just uh, keep pushing on. So how does it go? Does it go Kenny versus Winderstrom now? Is uh, that yeah, Kenny yeah, versus yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. exciting! That's exciting! That's exciting! I'm excited to see how that turns out. So we'll see how Kenny versus Winderstrom does, yeah. and then yeah, if, if whoever's in the final, I'm looking forward to it because I'm looking to get past Jarvis and meet that guy in the final. But I need to see these fights. I haven't really watched them, so I'm excited to watch these back tonight. All right, thank you so much, and eat my barrack, bro. All right, thank you, brother. Thank so you. Much. Give just a, quick, a couple of quick questions. Yeah. Um, you're saying that here that you feel like the winner separates themselves from influencer boxing. Mm. Do you not feel like you've already done that and you're already out of that kind of bracket? Well, I took out social gloves. I'm one person that has come and conquered a whole promotion. I'm looking to now conquer another promotion. Mm-hmm. I'll be a guy that's conquered two promotions. That's that's pretty badass, man. Who else has done that shit? No one wants in misfits. Everyone wants to stay in their lane. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to touch toes. They don't want to cross boundaries. So I'm coming over and I'm taking over two promotions. So that is my goal and that is my achievement that I'm looking for. A, a lot of people said in the build-up that the winner of this fight, well, there's two favourites fighting, mm-hmm. and the winner of this fight is the undoubted favourite. Do you feel like the undoubted favourite of the tournament now? I believe everyone should have that mindset that they are coming in to win the tournament. Well, if you're not coming to win the tournament, why are you in it? Mm-hmm. Why are you in it? So everyone should have that mindset. Uh, I don't care if someone says I'm going to win or lose the fight. I'm, I know me and my team, we're focused, and we're coming in to, to beat the opponent in front of us. Have you got a message to the rest of the competitors in the tournament? I'm coming. Ha! I'm coming for all of you lot. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.